us today. Uh, Dave used to play bass with Eric Clapton and uh, for many years he's been involved in the uh, music industry and has played with people like Joan Armitrading, Bing Crosby, Frank Zappa, Rolling Stones, The Who, even Chris Bowater. Hey. Hey. Hi Chris, how you Second doing? only to Bing Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. But it's great to have Dave, Dave with us. He has many stories um, from his journey, his musical journey. Welcome Dave. Thanks, Dave. Wonderful. What, what was it like in those days? Because you were a Christian then too. You got yeah. saved in the midst of all that, didn't you? No, I, well, I actually got saved about six months before I joined Eric, Steve. Right. So it was quite a baptism by fire, really, mm -hmm. walking into a uh, you know, touring rock and roll band. Mm, with Eric Clapton. With Eric and all my heroes and everything. Yeah. You know, that young Christian, six months old. Wow. So you were thrown right in the deep end, right? Absolutely, yeah. Was so it frowned upon for you to go into that kind of world from the Christian environment you came from? Well, well I think it, 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 was, it was a very unusual thing for the lads because I'd, I'd been, a non, most of them had known me as non-Christians, you see. Mm. And uh, when, I joined, when I joined the band in September, uh, uh, in September 79, at 2.30. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know uh, yeah, time. yeah, that's you know right, yeah. Time. No, I know the time I gave my life to Jesus. That was in the April. In April. April 79, yeah. Wow. And then in the, in the September, I got the job with Eric. Well, I'd known Eric before because I'd worked with him on various things. Mm -hmm. And um, he put this new band together. And, of course, I joined, and he thought he was going to get the old Dave, you see. Well, he got a new Dave instead, mm -hmm. which was... I mean, I was still trying to thrash my faith out. And it was a baptism by fire, I'll tell you. Mm. Those three and a half years on the road were... Um, must have been musically uh, very broadly through the whole time. Oh, it was time. fantastic. Mm. I mean, it was incredible. That man is, is wonderful. He's mm. God's touched him, mm -hmm. given him such a gift. You know? That's a radical thing to say. Some people would kind of have trouble with that, wouldn't they? But, but the musical gift in, in anybody is really from God. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, you know, where else does it come from? That's a, whether, it, whether that person acknowledges God or not. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I mean, even as a non-Christian, you know, I'd be in the studio. I'd known, I'd, I'd know that I, I, there, was, there was a gift from God there. Mm. I would say that. I'm, you know, mm. do you think challenge your Christian faith? Very much. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the roadies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And they, they'd, they'd set me up. They were naughty, actually. In the end, they, they really had a right go. Um, but uh, God saw me through, and uh, you know, Z, my wife, had become a Christian as well. Mm. At the same time, there's, there's a lot of good stories. So, there. what was the what was the most radical change in becoming a Christian? I think the most radical change really was was a, a burden that God gave me for the band. I mean, I prayed for those guys constantly while I was with them, and uh, I, I sort of carried them around, you know, in my heart, even when we were off the road. And it was a it was a sort of a period in Eric's life where he was. Um, he was drinking quite heavily, uh, and uh, I, I mean, I, I pray for him all the time, you know. And, uh, in fact, actually, the other day, I found some journals that I'd written um, whilst I was on the road, you know, and it's, it's full of, God help them, you know, please. Uh, you know, just what was his just, response to your Christian faith? Were, were you a threat to him? Were you, was he amused by it? Well, I don't think he was ever really amused. I think he, he, uh, he, he, um, he recognised... Uh, uh, in me a uh, reality. He knew that I really did uh, believe it mm -hmm. and uh, seemed to have found something solid. Um, uh, but I think, I think I was a threat to, to, um, uh, to things, especially when the drummer got saved. A couple of years later in, in Japan. Like, oh no, they're all becoming <laughs> Oh no, yeah, here they go, you know, they're going over like packs of cards. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, the drummer got saved, and my old mate Henry Spinetti got saved in Japan. So, so you were a challenge to, to them in one sense by your, your newfound faith? And yeah. yeah. You see, the, the thing was that when, when I joined the band, it, it was a very difficult thing to know how to play it because the one thing that I'd fought through was what people would think of me, my, what my friends in the business would think of me. Sure. Uh, you know, becoming a Christian. So that was one of the hurdles I had to overcome. Um, and so joining the band, I could... I could see that uh, what I really had to do was to, to, to either uh, come out of the closet or be very private about it. 
And I was so scared of losing this wonderful thing that I had in this relationship that I found with, with Jesus. So I decided that I would be open about it. And did, did you find uh, that that was actually a positive thing as you did it? Very positive for me. Thank you.